meteorologist Michael Haynes with a look outdoors. Michael, this daylight is here, but that's because we changed our clocks back last weekend. That's right, Jen. Don't worry, the days are still getting shorter in terms of daylight, but we're now getting the sunrise and earlier in the morning, but of course it's setting an hour earlier in the afternoon. Here's the live view from Gadsden, Etowah County. Uh, we are socked in with clouds and also a few showers over the western part of Alabama, well west of I-65, right here along Interstate 2059 between Utah and Fosters. If it holds together, it will continue to move toward uh, Tuscaloosa, but not expecting anything heavy, but we will deal with periods of showers, not only today, but also for your Sunday. If you're traveling back out to the west, of course, a lot of folks traveling down to Baton Rouge today for the big game tonight. Expect rain chances to increase the farther west you go. For us around here, this is our forecast now for this weekend. Spotty showers. It will not be a situation where it's raining constantly everywhere all day long, but if you have outdoor plans, just expect the potential for a brief passing sprinkle or shower at any point, and that includes Sunday during the day tomorrow. More clouds and sunshine outside of the showers and perhaps the possibility for a couple of a heavier downpours by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Both today and tomorrow, the temperatures in the 70s, upper 70s today, and then middle 70s during the day for your Sunday. Rainfall totals on the lighter end, about one quarter, perhaps some locally higher amounts over the northern and northwest part of Alabama, Hamilton, and then back up toward the shoals as, as much as one half inch of rain. That's over the next three days, including Veterans Day Monday. This pattern not changing much, but you'll begin to notice the humidity coming back down along with the temp temperatures not as warm heading into the first part of the work week, uh, but still in the 70s, around 73 to 76 for Veterans Day. Football Saturday today, UConn playing UAB here in Birmingham in the 70s. A few showers possible this afternoon at Tennessee Tech against Sanford. That's also a home game for Sanford. The same thing in the 70s. So have the rain gear on hand just in case. Alabama under the lights in Baton Rouge tonight against LSU at 630 kickoff. Temperatures in the 70s at dealing with rain along with a few thunderstorms. The only possibility for any type of delay will be if they have any lightning around the stadium. So of course we'll monitor that. Tropical Storm Raphael in the Gulf of Mexico we will kind of push back to the west then weaken moving south. We're not expecting any problems at all for the northern Gulf. Otherwise in the tropics we're in good shape. Back out to the west and the northwest of us though finally some cooler air will begin moving in here by the middle and end of the week and even before then the humidity trending down. So you'll start to get some relief really over the next couple of days and you'll really feel it in a significant way uh, by the middle and end of next week. Of all things finally the temperatures trending down closer to average Thursday and Friday upper 60s to near 70 and that's exactly where we should be for this point in November and morning lows by Friday morning all the way down into the 40s, Jen. Your time right now is